In the heart of the Andes, where the air is thin and the peaks touch the sky, there existed a tale shrouded in mystery and sacrifice. It was a story that echoed through the ages, carried by the icy winds that swept across the desolate mountaintops. In the year 1999, a group of intrepid explorers embarked on an Argentine-Peruvian expedition near Lulaylaco's towering summit, standing at an imposing 6739 meters. Little did they know that they were about to unearth the frozen secret buried in time. A girl who had been frozen for 500 years. Her name was lost to the annals of history, but she became known as La Doncella, the Maiden. Preserved in the eternal embrace of the mountain, she appeared as if she had only recently closed her eyes. But the truth was far more chilling. She was a sacrifice, chosen by the Inca to live with the gods. As scientists meticulously studied her perfectly preserved body, they uncovered the gruesome reality of her fate. The Inca, in the name of their gods, had selected her for a ritualistic sacrifice. The journey to the mountaintop was treacherous, and to endure it, she was fed coca leaves, a concoction meant to aid in breathing at high altitudes. The girl, adorned in colorful garments and precious ornaments, was then drugged and left to face the biting cold and thin air. The Incan high priests, following ancient traditions, would later deliver the final blow, be it strangulation or a fatal blow to the head. These sacrifices, known as capacocha, were conducted during pivotal events or times of desperation, such as the death of the Sapa Inca or in the midst of a famine. But why were children chosen? The Inca believed in the purity and nobility of children, considering them the purest beings. These young souls, dressed in vibrant attire, were intended to become guardians of their villages from the heights of the mountains honored in death as they joined their ancestors. In the midst of this frozen tableau of history, another mummy named La Niña del Rayo emerged, the Lightning Girl, alongside La Doncella, a seven-year-old boy, and the Lightning Girl. They were found on the mountaintop, their bodies untouched by the passage of five centuries. The Lightning Girl's nickname told a story of its own, Struck by lightning during the 500-year period on the summit, her preserved body and ceremonial artifacts bore the scars of a celestial force. It was as if the gods themselves had left their mark on the sacrifice they once claimed. The discovery of these frozen children, each telling a tale of ancient rituals and beliefs, sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. As the world marveled at the perfectly preserved bodies, questions lingered in the air. The icy winds whispered secrets of a civilization long gone, leaving behind only the silent echoes of a sacrifice frozen in time.